Well, good morning, and it's time to get back to work on uh, Morning Joe. One of the things that, uh, one of the set of the muscles that determine the shape of the chest muscles is this set of muscles right here, and it comes off of that point right there. And, uh, goes down to one, two, three, four, five, the fifth rib. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll put it right down to there. There we go. And it looks like there's three muscles each on each rib right there. Now the reason I'm starting with this is because um, it gives me the shape of the chest muscles that I be, I'll be attaching. And again the reason I'm going to this much detail is because he's going to have his shirt off. If he didn't have his shirt off I'd just slap the things on. Whoop, got a phone call. The one thing you don't want to do is overdo the muscles. Uh, you can do that easily if you're not careful. You can add muscles and stuff like that that uh, are ten times bigger than normal and they start looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger or a statue of Zeus instead of a uh, sculpture of a normal human being. Now he's not tensing up his muscles so He's more relaxed. I'm going to put on his uh, stomach muscles. The muscles. I'm, I'm looking at this arm here to guide me on the muscles and I can see that this one muscle attaches about half, well, about two-thirds up the bone of the, uh, of the upper uh, arm bone. I will put the connections or the uh, right there on his chest where the muscles connect to the uh, sternum. Only because uh, now because he's not straining his muscles, uh, I just got the muscles on there for the gentle form, and uh, because he's not straining his muscles they're not going to show as much as they would if he was pulling on something. Uh, he's just basically just relaxed. 
and so a lot of this definition of the muscle structure would uh, disappear. If it was pulling on a rope or something like that, then the muscle definition would uh, be a lot different. Now these are individual muscles here that are attached to each rib, but because, like I said, he's not doing anything strenuous, they're not going to be showing as much. I'm no great whiz on muscles, but I'm following the musculature of the uh, plastic figure that I've got here of the the muscles on a male and I'm also looking at the female as well because it uh, gives me insight into the muscles as well yeah his shoulder is looking just like it does in the photograph now so I got the scapula in the right place. windpipe in. Emphasized Adam's apple as we call it. This is where I'm going to change the shape of the skull just a little bit because uh, not everybody's skull is perfect. And it uh, looks like he's got a little bit of a rise in the back. So I'm going to do that. Don't want to overdo that shoulder muscle. <coughs> size the length of his neck things that are happening to his neck like the skin you know it gets out in the sun a lot and uh, it tends to get a little more wrinkly because of the sun this guy has <coughs> what looks like Obama ears in other words they stick out quite a bit <laughs> no insult to Mr. Obama Mr. Our president he's just has big ears. I might be getting ahead of myself here, but I'm gonna try to establish the personality of this guy by putting his hair on. I'm going to pick this up next week. Uh, I've run out of time. It's about 5 o'clock in the evening and it's uh, time for me to get my blog going and my video and uh, my dinner. <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys Monday. I uh, will not have a video tomorrow because I'm going to uh, Bozeman uh, to do some stuff there and uh, I'll pick this up Monday morning. I'm liking the way this is turning out now. Alright, good night everybody.